Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we're going to look at center consoles in the 23-foot to 25-foot class that are easy to handle but have true offshore capabilities. Once an angler has left the shelter of the bay to venture out into blue water, it's hard for them not to catch a case of blue water fever. No longer is their fishing area set by shoreline boundaries. The fish they catch tend to be larger and the water clearer. Memories of a trout hitting a topwater plug soon fade when they hook a brilliantly colored dolphin that puts on an aerial display of somersaults. Some key features to look for in this class of center console boats are, if you want to fish offshore but don't want the expense of twin engines, a 23 to 25 foot center console can easily be powered with a single outboard. Successful anglers will need insulated fish boxes to keep their catch fresh. A live bait well with good water flow and high capacity is a must for offshore fishermen. If you want the family to come along and be comfortable, forward seating is a feature you'll want to consider. Behind the helm, a leaning post is hard to beat for an unobstructed view and to store rods. Having a dive door at the transom, or better yet, in the side of the boat, makes it easier to get on and off of the boat at the dock and in and out of the water. A recessed bow casting deck makes it easier to fish or throw a cast net from the front of the boat. If you're going to be navigating offshore, you'll need a boat with a functional console design that has room for an array of electronics. Ample cockpit space is necessary to accommodate several anglers or divers and allows plenty of room for entertaining. Join our hosts Dave East and Rick Riles as they feature three center console boats that perform well with a single outboard and are equally capable of fishing offshore for dolphin, inshore for tarpon, or relaxing at the sandbar. They are the Sea Fox 246 Commander with an overall length of 24 feet 4 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 300, the Sea Hunt Ultra 235 SE with an overall length of 23 feet 5 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 250, and the Dorado 25, with an overall length of 25 feet, a beam of 8 feet 2 inches, and max horsepower rating of 400. They'll be conducting walkthroughs, test drives, and reviewing key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome to this episode of Best Boat. I'm Dave East, boating editor of Florida Sports and Magazine. And I'm Rick Riles, program director of Florida Sports and Radio. Well, today we're going to look at a class of center consoles, 23 to 25 feet. And you know what? Let's get serious about this because when I say serious, this is normally the size an angler steps up to when he wants to get serious about going offshore. And let me tell you something. This defines sweet spot to me with center consoles because, sure, you can go a lot bigger. But when you go bigger, you so often go multiple engines. You go extra tow vehicle, whatever. Man, a 23 to 25 foot center console can really nail just about everything you want to do. It's, you can take it to the sandbar, you can put your family on it. It can do more things than just the great big center consoles can because they're a lot more mission specific. This is really a good size range. And you know what, when you go bigger, it so often involves more people. Mm -hmm. Well, what if just you and your wife want to go? Right. All you want is a single engine. Remember, you're working out of one wallet, okay? All you want is room for the two of you on a nice day because that's when she's going to want to fish anyway. I really like that 23 to 25 foot class. But now let's say it's just the guys and you really want to go out there and you really want to chase dolphin or wahoo or go do some bottom fishing. These boats absolutely are up to that task. They as well. really are. And I can remember not very many years ago when we said, oh, if you're going out of sight land, you better have the twin engines. All that. Those days are gone. The dependability of today's engines are amazing. The odds of you breaking down are almost infinitesimal if you maintain your equipment. And boy, can you do a lot of things with a single 23 to 25 foot center console boat. Well, the three boats that we brought today really represent this class very well. We have the Sea Hunt, which is their Ultra 235 SE. And it's got SEs for side entry. It's got that side entry door we like. And then we've got the Sea Fox 246 Commander. Great seating. We love the console layout on that boat. It was very well done. Well, it was, but if you want a little bit more hardcore and you're not really looking for the cushy stuff, we've got the Dorado 25, and this boat is absolutely serious to go offshore and take the guys fishing. Hey, single guys that love to fish, you're going to want to check that boat out. All three of them did a great job. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Birdsall Marine Design, quality marine and sport fishing products. Birdsall Marine Design has been a leader in aftermarket and custom boating accessories for over 35 years. 
Based in West Palm Beach, our facility specializes in the manufacturing of custom T-tops, leaning posts, consoles, rod holders, marine canvas and upholstery products, and a wide variety of anodized aluminum hardware. Come visit our spacious West Palm Beach facility anytime or visit us on the web at birdsallmarine.com to learn more about our most innovative products. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we're featuring center console boats in the 23 foot to 25 foot class. All right, let's take a look at the Sea Fox 246 Commander. Once again, we're in that same size range that we've been in, but boy, I tell you what, it's got some sweet features, make it a true offshore fishing boat. It's got the build of a larger boat. It's got a downward straight, throw your water down and away from you as it rides really dry. I rode it all morning, big high flared bow. This boat is not at home in the river. You can do it. That's not her home. Where she came from is closer to the Gulf Stream. Well, we talked about these boats, including the family. If you look at their bow seating, they did something kind of unique we haven't seen. We've seen a lot of bow seating on a lot of the boats that we've tested. They actually have two positions. You can face forward if you want the wind in your face, but if you've got people sitting in the front of the console, you want to have a conversation, you can also turn and face backwards. That's something that's unique. Uh, there's a lot more than that that's unique about this. Uh, T-top with two boxes. One of them playing a very vital role. I can't wait to get on board and show you that. All right, we're gonna start off in the stern of this boat because one thing I really like about the size of this class, the single power. You don't have to have twins. Outboards are so much more reliable now. You'll get a lot better performance out of a big single than you went out of a pair of smaller twins. It's less expensive to buy, less expensive to maintain. It's gonna burn less fuel. We used to have a rule. Never go more than 10 miles offshore with a single engine. That's gone. You're, the only thing I can equate it to, Dave, is that your, your outboard now almost rivals your car. You don't get in your car like you and I did when we were kids going, come on, baby, come on, baby, you know, and have it start. You turn the key, you know it's going to start with today's motor. Well, one thing that we haven't seen on the boats that, that are in this class, a ski pole. I mean, if you're going to take your family out and you're going to have kids or even young adults, they're going to want to be pulled on some kind of a water tube or a boogie board or something like that. How cool is it to have a ski pole like this that gets that ski rope at a much better angle than attaching it to the transom? That cushion that you're leaning against swings out of the way, and that way when you come up on the dive ladder right there, you come right through the cushion into the boat. You don't have to step over this big backrest. Once again, very comfortable back seating, very simple, but you're sitting down in the boat where you belong. It's a secure feeling to have this backrest here and be able to ride here. The thing I like best about the stern right here is the fish box runs all the way from me to you. That means it holds my size fish. Right behind me, it's a 35 gallon live well that you like so much. Well, there's reasons why I like it. First off, it's round, okay? It's mandatory that any live well is either oval shaped or round. There's no corners for the bait to get into. It's got a clear lid, so with a quick look, I can see what kind of shape my bait's in. That's designed for a fisherman. Okay, you're right. I love this area back here. Working forward to the console, there's something I can't wait to show you about this tea top. Let me tell you, there's a lot to like about this console. This 3D almost gives you the effect of this being more of a helm station than a console, doesn't it? it does. Now, this looks like this came off a sport fishing boat, but let me promise you one thing. If you stay on the ocean long enough, you're going to need at least one of these three things. Your fire extinguisher, your first aid kit, or your EPER. And what they have in common is you need them in a hurry. Don't be digging through your console and all this. Look what Sea Fox did. They built you a secondary box back here for your safety gear. You need a fire extinguisher, you need it right now. Well, I like the fact that they've got this molded T-top, but what I like about it is this big, massive seat. So many offshore boats that we look at have this little tiny leaner seat that's okay for standing, but if you're going to make a long run, having a seat this massive in the boat is awesome. It's super comfortable. Why are there so many 23, 24-foot center consoles? Because the formula works so well. So far, it looks like they've laid out every inch to the max. Let's work up forward because they've got some ideas up here that utilize space perfectly. But before we leave the helm area, one more thing. Nice big console, side entry door, plenty of room for a head down there, and they carry their storage all, all the way underneath this front seat. So if you're going to take this boat to the islands, you can take all the gear you need. Speaking of going to the islands and having your family with you, did they do a neat concept with this forward seating? If you're riding, this is your backrest, okay? You're looking this type of stuff, but you know me, if we're trolling, my eyes have got to be on the base. Just turn around. You've got another backrest right here to look aft with, so you can watch your baits while you're fishing. Cool concept, great place to sit while the boat's slowly cruising or trolling. They've combined everything for the family and for the fishermen. Dave, this boat's ready to fish. 
with your buddies on a serious fishing day or with your family cruising. Either way you look at it, if you're gonna look at a 24 foot center console, a boat in that range, here's one you need to consider. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Marine Customs Unlimited. You dream it, we build it. We do it all. Custom fiberglass repair. Upholstery and canvas work. Custom dash panels. Specializing in insurance claims. Suzuki and Yamaha sales and service. We do it all. One stop boat shop. Home of fantastic plastics and the fiberglass shop. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we're featuring center console boats in the 23 foot to 25 foot class. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Sea Hunt Ultra 235 SE. And really what they've done is they've taken a boat and they've put in features that friendly for the family, it's friendly for the fishermen. Doesn't matter really what you wanna do with this boat, but it's gonna happen offshore. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's a true dedicated offshore hull. Now, what does that mean? A lot more freeboard, okay? They've got a nice flare built into the boat. Boat's built very solid to be in the ocean. It's, you can fish it inshore, but what you can't do is power it with a trolling motor inshore. Hence, that makes it an offshore boat. But Dave, what's happened with offshore boats in this size class is, is that they used to be for dad. Dad would go fishing on the weekends with his buddies and stuff. How many more moms and kids are going offshore fishing now than we ever saw 30 years ago? I love the way they did their bow seating. It's huge. For a 23-foot boat, you normally don't see this much bow seating. That screams family at you, but let me tell you what I love. Every boat we look at, I feel like we're seeing another step in the evolutionary process of the leaning post. They've got a rocket launcher leaning post on this boat that is outstanding. It's, it's the next step. We've never seen anything like it. Well, the last thing, too, is their side entry door. I love the dive. It's going to make it easier for me to get in and out of the water. You always brag about those big fish you catch. I've never seen one, but if you do happen to get lucky and catch one, a lot easier to pull it through the door. Well, let's go look at some of the features on this Sea Hunt. You'll get an idea of why it'll work for the family and work for the fishermen. Now, these are plush. I, we keep seeing this great bow seating. It seems to get better all the time. With seats this nice, you got to get a massage, don't you? Well, somebody else can do it. I, look, I love you, but not that much. But what I like about it, too, is if you bring the family, you got a lot of room for people to sit up here and lounge. But let's just say we're going to fish. The backrests are removable, the pads are removable, and now you've got a real casting deck on this boat. This is designed for calm water and the luxurious family experience, and it's excellent at what it does. Well, too, what I like about it, both these boxes that are under these cushions are insulated. They're real fish boxes. So if you do catch a large fish, which, I mean, face it, you're taking this boat offshore, and you're going to be fishing for dolphin and kingfish and wahoo, you've got a place to put it. Right, and we see lots of fish boxes that are ill-shaped. By ill-shaped, I mean, sure, it's fine, it'll hold a fat grouper, but will it hold a long wahoo? Right. And these boxes will. Well, if the family is up here, you have an insulated cooler under the front seat of the console. So you pull up to the sandbar, or if you just drifting around, if this is where everyone's gonna hang out, all your drinks stay nice and cool here. All right, as we walk back, let me show you something that's unique about this T-top. All right, see what they've done with this D-tubing here? What it's allowed them to do is take the legs of the T-top and pull them in really, really tight to the console. So it's all compact. You get a lot more walk-through room, and it adds a lot of rigidity to the top. This is just a much stronger layout than what a round tube would be. Every inch counts, and it does give you more room. But man, do I love the flat surface on the front of this console. Two 12-inch screens here fit nicely with your stereo, with whatever. And once again, thinking like they should, there's a lip here to keep water or whatever gets up here from coming back on you. It runs off to the side or your cell phone stays where you put it. Well, if we look at the seat, you had looked at this earlier and you really liked it. I love the design. I like the way that they've eliminated the rear leg. Just look at how much more room you get in the cockpit. Not only more cockpit room, but look at the problem that they got rid of. The age old one of lifting the cooler lid and getting a drink out. No back legs to block it now. Well, what I like about it, the boat's 23 feet, six inches long. We've got the cockpit that you normally associate with like a 26 footer. Getting rid of the back legs opens up so much more room. It really does. There's a lot more room to move around. Good back seating, okay? You're not sitting on the boat, you're sitting down in the boat. It's a more secure feeling, the most comfortable place to ride on any boat. Well, you've got storage, you have systems access, and you've got a live well in the middle. So if you are going to take this boat out and you want to get some live bait, you've got a nice live well right here in the center of the boat. Right behind you is a side access door. They call this boat the SE, which means side entrance. 
This to me, and to find this in a 23 foot boat is just something you don't see. You're right, normally you don't. And people, you know, I called it a tuna door for years and a marlin door and all this. What it really is, particularly on these size boats, is a very easy step on the boat from the dock or a very easy come out of the water after you're done swimming and get back in the boat. It's safer than stepping on where the motor is and much easier on whoever's coming in. Well, not only coming in, just going out. Like if we're diving, in a, a, normally in a boat like this, you sit on the gunnels and you roll backwards. It's so much easier to be able to step off and go in feet first if you're diving than it is to roll over backwards. And having that door that swings in, several divers can sit right here on the back. You can get all geared up, then everybody one at a time can go through the door. It's just easier way to get into the water. This is a boat that combines what we talk about so often, the fact that families have got more involved in offshore fishing. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Armstrong, celebrating 25 years of creativity and innovation. Do you have the Armstrong advantage? In its most basic form, an Armstrong outboard bracket improves the efficiency of your outboard motor. This equates to a faster time to plane and higher top speeds. The list of advantages continue with improved maneuverability, added space, and a quieter ride. Adding a swim platform accompanied by an Armstrong boarding ladder will certainly add to your day out on the water. Isn't it time for you to gain the Armstrong advantage? When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew stayed at Pirates Cove Resort and Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we're featuring center console boats in the 23 foot to 25 foot class. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the Dorado 25. And you know, there's a lot of boats out there that are kind of iconic and all you have to do is say their name and instantly an angler knows exactly what that hull looks like. And Dorado actually is one of those names, but not with this new boat. This is actually a new design they just came out with. It's a departure for them and I like it a lot. They kept some of the stuff I like about Dorado. It is a fishing boat, okay? That's what it is, and that's what it's designed for. And the deck space in this boat is laid out so well, there's a lot to like about the new one. The other thing I really like about the boat is a 25-foot center console, you're thinking bust the inlet. But, you know, let's say you're over on the west coast and you want to go way into the Everglades, or you want to go deep into Florida Bay or in Pensacola and you want to get way out in the bay, this boat has a porta bracket so it gives you a lot more shallow water capability than a normal 25 foot center console with the motor bolted right to the transfer. Well you mentioned the Dorado hull and how it's iconic. It's iconic for not being your standard deep V hull. Their hulls from the very get go have been designed for that west coast shallow water that the guys on the east coast have just fallen in love with in the last several years. Well if you're looking for a center console that you want to take offshore but you really don't want to lose a lot of that inshore capability. This boat, the way it's set up, might be a really good compromise. If the target is getting the right casting deck, bingo, this is it, okay? You're down in the boat, but you're up high enough, cast net's no problem, cast into a cobia's no problem. But let me take you a step further. Here's what they did with the below deck storage. This one's fixed, this one you take out, okay? You lift out this whole storage. That means whatever kind of trip you're gonna fish tomorrow, you can set it up in this box, just drop it in the boat, you're ready to go. Well, they've carried their combing bolster all the way around up here in the bow. So if you are up here, let's say you're gonna pull the anchor, you're gonna cast to a cobia, you've got something to lean against. I mean, there's, from standing out here with the boat moving, or if you can lock your leg against the side, man, what a difference. It just feels so much more secure to be able to lean against something a lot more solid, and you can concentrate on fishing and not have to worry about your stability. All right, you know how I look at a boat. I always look past the fit and finish. I wanna see how this boat is put together and how it's rigged. And when you look at access like this to systems, but when you look at the quality of the wiring, I love this. All of these boats are custom built, so you can really have this laid out however you want. But when you have this type of wiring, just looking at that tells me if that's the quality of the job they do in the wiring, that's the same quality they have in the rest of the boat. Let me show you another great console idea, my boy. Come around here. Two things happen to your electronics, my boy. Sun and Boogeyman, okay? What they did, not only did they recess them, but they've got a plate that goes here, lock it down, nobody's getting to them, they're out of the sunlight. It doesn't mess up your screen. I really like it. It's got everything you need. I love the idea of the electronics, just like you said. All your controls are here. It actually fits the boat a lot better. When I, My first impression of it was that the console could have been a little bit fancier, but now that I look at it, it's perfect. You can have your fancy. This is a fishing boat, okay? 
Get past what it looks like. When you're fishing, it's all about function. It's not about gorgeous anymore. The beauty of this boat, and to me, she's gorgeous. The beauty of it is in its simplicity. All right, as we move further aft, look at this cockpit. It is huge. You know what I just figured out about Dorados since we came back here in the cockpit? Why they're so popular with guides. Four-person charter, you can take a five-person charter on this boat. Yes, if you give up some of your rear seating, you give up some of your creature comforts, look how much room we've got. All right, not only that, your fish boxes below deck, they stretch all the way forward to the console. 60, 70 pound Wahoo, no problem, slide him right in. Well, we talked earlier about liking the live well setup too. It's big, it's right in the center, it's at the transom where everybody can get to it. You're looking at that live well thinking, man, I can black that out with greenies, I can go offshore, I can live bait. I'm looking at that live well thinking, I can have six divers on board and we can put all of our lobster in there and keep them alive until we're ready to get back because it's got plenty of room, plenty of good water flow. Plenty of circulation, no question. I like everything the way it's set up. I am a bracket guy. You know, you, you see so many of the European transoms now, they're very popular, a lot of people love them. I like the brackets, they give you so much more usable space inside. Well, this particular bracket's a little bit different too, it's a porta bracket. It works a lot like a jack plate, when you can raise that motor vertical and you can keep that thrust from the prop parallel with the surface of the water, you can get the boat a lot shallower and it's a lot more efficient. Well, if you want to give up a little bit of the bow seating, a little bit of the stern seating, a little bit of the family features, but you want a boat that you can combine offshore and inshore, They've done a great job with this Dorado 25. It is a boat that can bust the inlet or be very, very comfortable in the backcountry. If you're ready to take the next step in the evolutionary process of boat ownership, but not wanting to overcommit yourself or your finances, a center console in the 23 foot to 25 foot class may be the perfect craft. A boat in this size range is no less of an offshore fishing machine than its larger counterparts, but offers the key benefits of a shallower draft and lower operating costs, which may make it the best boat for you. Well, we've looked at the three models that we really liked in the 23 to 25 foot range. You know what they are? When you got blue water fever, but you got a green water, got to be practical budget, these could be the answer for you to get you out to chase a big fish. Well, they really can. And like we had said earlier, this is just a natural progression that someone starts in a smaller boat, gets a little bit larger boat, gets a taste of going offshore, but they want a little bit larger boat, maybe to cross or just to feel more secure out there or take more people. 23 to 25 foot size center console really fits the bill. If you want more information on the three boats that you've seen today or any of the boats we've tested this season of Best Boat, go to our website, floridasportsman.com, go to the boating page and click on the Best Boat link. Or we'll see you next week on another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Be sure to join us next week as we look at flats boats on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Each month, turn to Florida Sportsman for the best in boating and fishing coverage.